Glass is a very unusual material. It can be used over and over again without losing any quality. All it takes is a small heating process and crushing. This makes glass an ideal material for closed and circular loop economies. It can be recycled within the UK, meaning it doesn't go to waste, uh, which benefits both the UK economy and the environment. The UK roughly imports 1.3 billion wine bottles a year, but our wine industry doesn't make that much wine, and therefore we have a lot of waste. 60% of those waste bottles get recycled, leaving around about 14 million wine bottles a day going to landfill. Out of those bottles that do go to recycling, majority of them get crushed here and then sent for road building or remelting abroad. The EU has recently stipulated that only those bottles that are crushed for remelting will count as recycling. At Bottle Alley Glass, we take those waste bottles and we turn them into new valuable products and we've been doing this for the last five years. Glass by its nature is very versatile and can be considered a substitute for various other products made from other materials. To be honest, most people don't recognise our products as being glass. The TSB's funding has allowed us to explore ways of using our glass to replace traditional building materials. At the start of the project, we spoke to people in the building industry who understand building requirements and sustainable practices. They suggested two lines to follow, decorative tiles and roof tiles. And here's a few facts. Usually building materials are made and used close to the area where raw materials are naturally found. But 80% of tiles we use in the UK each year come from abroad in a total market of £3,150 million of UK construction cost. The excavation of raw materials abroad and the transportation of these tiles produces a huge global environmental impact. Meanwhile, we are putting millions of tonnes of waste glass into landfill and road construction. We can't rely on sustainability credentials alone to sell our products. The products need to perform at least as well, if not better, than current products already on the market. Throughout the project, we put design at the heart of our thinking. We wanted the products to look attractive, but also that any opportunities for recovering and reusing the glass were optimised. We also commissioned an initial life cycle analysis to compare the carbon emissions of our products with our competitors, alongside material tests done to compare the physical characteristics. Here is what we have come up with so far. The life cycle analysis gave a strong indication that glass compares favourably against other natural materials. It has shown us that we can make the benefits of recycling glass indisputable by reducing our energy consumption in the future production process and capturing waste heat. Our glass matches the least porous natural material, a strong indicator of excellent frost and mould resistance. For an investment of between £100,000 and £250,000, we could bring to market a competitive product that we'd target initially at the eco-build sector. The intent is then to replicate the traditional model of producing products close to the source of raw materials to cut the transport costs. We are also continuing to work on developing a range of internal decorative tiles that we were unable to complete during the timescales of this project. The possibilities for glass cladding products are very bright and we are really excited about taking this project forward and exploring the opportunities we have been developing. When you would like to talk to us about this study or any of our existing products, please get in contact with us at Bottle Alley Glass.